Hello guys, Sausage Gamer here, and today I'm reviewing Fake Elite Linear Prisma Ilya 2 Wii, also known as the second season of Fake Elite Linear Prisma Ilya. In this season, there aren't any battles against heroic spirits, instead, there are battles against the dark counterpart of Ilya, and a powerful opponent appears at the end of the anime as well. In this season, Ilya has to deal with the dark counterpart of herself that manifested during the mission. This dark counterpart of herself is named Kuro, and not only does she have the powers of Archer, she can do everything Ilya can do, but better. Her goal was to kill Ilya, so that she can be the only Ilya in this world. It was amusing seeing Kuro come up with all sorts of plans to kill Ilya, only for it to fail in a very funny way. I was amazed that Ilya wanted to be friends with someone that kept trying to kill her. That goes to show you how kind Ilya is. It was great seeing a friendship develop between Kuro and Ilya. Despite how stubborn Kuro was, Ilya was able to learn just where Kuro came from and a reason for hating Ilya. It was nice seeing Ilya try to convince Kuro that they could coexist in this world, and to see Ilya put her life on line to save Kuro. Kuro saw how caring Ilya was and changed her attitude towards her. It never gets old seeing a villain turn into one of the good guys. Kuro was fine as a character as well because she needed life force from people in order to survive. So basically she needs someone to kiss. It was so hilarious seeing her go around school kissing all of Ilya's friends, including Miu. The final fight this season that Ilya and friends had against Bazette was so enjoyable to watch. It was the best fight so far in the two seasons. Not only was Bazette super strong and quick, she could counter a noble phantasm, thus making the cars useless to use against her in battle. I couldn't keep my eyes off the fight. It was that entertaining. Ilya and her friends had to fight Bazette in such a desperate way. Bazette could literally counter any attack and not even seem phased when hit with an attack. I like that Ilya never lost her cool when fighting an extremely strong opponent. It was heartwarming seeing her fight so desperately for Kuro's sake. She really valued her as a friend. I really liked the outcome of the fight. It showed a reasonable way that Ilya and her friends could escape Bazette without making Bazette look so weak all of a sudden. That was a great strategy that Ren came up with to stop Bazette. I like that Ilya had so much trust in Rin's plan, even when Rin didn't give her details about her plan. Ilya was just that smart to pick up on it. As for two new characters this season, I did like Kuro because of how teasing she was. She made everyone in the show feel flustered and embarrassed. But Zet was a pretty cool character as she didn't rely on powerful spells or heroic spirits. She was that powerful because she really trained her body well. I like characters that have to work hard to become strong, and not just because they had OP skills from the start. The opening ending for a season wasn't as good as the opening ending that was in season 1. The songs just weren't as catchy. The music during the episodes was great once again and it really made the scenes more emotional to watch. The animation style for a season was the same as the animation style that was in season 1. I'm glad it's up to the animation style as the sudden change in the animation style would seem really weird. The animation during fights looked great. I would recommend watching the season if you already watched season 1. It has a very funny female character to the main cast of characters as well as introduced a cool funny female character in Bazette. The final fight in the season was amazing and not predictable at all. Ilya and her friends had to make a great strategy to take down this seemingly invincible opponent. There is no power of friendship here. I give the season a 8 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day and night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.